Hi, I'm Charmaine James, and I'm going to be talking about the approach to the first barrel. As you can see, we have two lines going to the first barrel. There's a yellow line, and there's a white line. The yellow line is the correct line that you want to stay on. You can see that it goes to a cone out there. That cone is going to be set directly towards the second barrel, about 10 feet away from the barrel. Okay, and then you can see the yellow line continues on into the turn on around about three or four feet past the barrel. The white line represents an approach that's taken too straight and by the time you approach the barrel you're very close to that barrel approaching it and it's going to have a tendency to block the horse's ribs when you get to the barrel. Um, and a lot of people have a tendency to think that this approach on the white line is much faster because it's a shorter distance. But actually when you make that break, you can see where the yellow line and the white line intersect. That that horse is going to have to make a hard right to the turn and lose some momentum in that turn. And you don't want to lose momentum for your turn. By staying out to your cone, that's going to allow that horse to have a gradual descent into the turn, keep his momentum up, and you'll have a much faster turn. We're going to pull the ribbons down and we're going to trot through it now and show you that position. Okay, so now we're ready to um, walk or trot onto that first barrel to continually to show you that line to that first barrel. So when I'm sitting here, I want to make sure that we have a small pattern in here. I want to make sure that I'm centered with my third barrel. Okay, if I'm outside in a big arena on a standard pattern, then I'm going to start slightly inside of my third barrel. But because I have a small pattern, I'm going to be centered with it. Okay, now I want to make sure before I ever take off that my weight is sitting to the outside. I'm not leaning, I'm just sitting to the outside. Okay, and I'm going to go a little straighter down the pin. And what's going to happen with my eyes at this point? I already know where my six steps is, where that cone was. So I'm going to visually draw a line with my eyes to that cone. I'm going to go to that where the six steps is. And then my eyes are going to continue to move on four feet to the left, pointing my horse's head and shoulders. I'm looking over the outside ear. I'm pointing him. My eyes are moving to my first and up to my third or to three to four feet past the barrel. Okay, Okay, we're going to finish up the approach to the first barrel by showing you how to guide correctly. So we've already talked about picking your line out, drawing that imaginary line in the dirt to the cone, okay, which is going to be where your six steps is. All right. So we're going to point our horse's head a little straighter down the arena. And you can see my horse is nice and soft in the face. We're going to create a little bit of shape through his body on the way to that first barrel, okay? Now, what happens a lot of times here with riders is when they're on the approach to the first barrel, they're going to get this nose bent, okay? And they're going to come in at this approach. And you can see that my horse's head is pointing basically over at the fence, but I see a lot of riders over bending these nose to keep the ribs blocked to the outside. Okay, what keeps your ribs out to the outside is keeping your horse soft in the face. Okay, and you can use a little more inside rein. Okay, but I'm guiding to this first barrel basically using both reins. And if your horse fades to the right, more than likely you've got a lot more pressure on that inside rein and none on your outside rein. So you're going to use pressure on both of your reins guiding to that first barrel. Okay. Also, you don't want to be sitting to the inside, nor do you want to be looking down to the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk back up again, and I'm going to show you an incorrect way and the correct way come into that barrel where you're sitting and where you should be looking. Okay. You don't want to go to that barrel looking down to the inside, okay? You're gonna feel like you're closer to that barrel than what you really are. It distorts your position and where you need to be around the barrel, okay? Um, and then you might have a tendency to wanna to pull that horse's head to the inside and try and move his shoulder to the outside, okay? We know that doesn't work. That makes them actually get in there closer. What you wanna do is sit down on your left pin bone of your butt, look over the outside shoulder, point his head, point his shoulders, right at your six steps, 
okay? Once you get directly to your six steps, okay, you want to go four feet to the left of the barrel, okay? So we're going to guide directly into that. We're going to come up, hit our spot four foot past the barrel, and finish the turn, okay? Let me go back up and walk through that again. All right, so we're sitting to the outside. We're going to our six steps. And here's a mistake I see a lot. My horse's head is now even with that barrel. And what will happen is they keep going past the barrel this way, okay? So you end up out here too wide. And what happens is, is the rider just didn't do a good enough job guiding from that six steps okay you want to make sure that as you approach that barrel that your hand is going to be closing a little bit on those reins to tighten down to guide them in there all right so we want to point him right here four feet to the left of it and four feet past it okay so remember that it takes very little guiding with your hands, but you do have to use both hands to guide into the turn. You wouldn't want to turn his head to the outside. That puts the ribs in there. You don't want to cross your hands over. You want to ride that horse to the barrel, two-handed, okay, without crossing over, your elbows bent, looking over that outside ear, and then sitting down for the turn, okay? When you come to your first barrel, your horse has got a lot of adrenaline worked up. And so this is a time that you need to be calm, you need to focus on your position, and know your horse. If your horse is an excitable type of a horse um, and has a tendency to get past the first barrel, you want to keep him more calm. If you have a horse that needs a little more energy brought, you need to wake him up okay, before you come into that first barrel because your first barrel is going to carry you through the entire run.